Okay, so one of the, the big things is when you have a small camper, like we've got a 15 foot teardrop, one of the problems that you have is very, very limited on storage. But there's actually a lot of storage in this little camper. Um, back the first 10, 15 years that I camped, we did a lot of hiking and backpacking. And when you have to carry everything on your backpack for three and four days of camping, you learn how to camp or you learn how to pack very cautiously and how to save space by what you pack. So I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of walk you through my camper and show you kind of how we store stuff when we are at the campgrounds and when we are traveling and maybe it will give you some ideas on how to do things in your camper okay the first thing which I think is the most important is food um, we use a plastic tote right there and that is our dry goods tote for food and what we put in that is basically boxed food, canned food, breads maybe potato chips, oils, anything that doesn't require refrigeration. Now, when we're at the campgrounds, we set it up on top of the cabinet so we have easy access to it. Okay, when we travel, then we put the plastic tote on the bench right behind the cabinet, and it sits there and rides there just fine. The next thing is our wet bath. Wet baths don't have a lot of room in them, so you have to maximize the storage. What we do when we're at the campgrounds is we put our bottles on the shelf around the toilet. We also store our toilet paper in the cabinet up here. When we are at the campgrounds, we put the toilet paper right there. You can reach around and get it with no problems. Now, in our bathroom when we travel, we put all of our bottles on the floor in the shower. The reason we do that is if you get to where you're going and your shampoo bottle opened up and fell over, it's gonna be a mess. If it's in the shower pan like that, you can hose it down real quick and you're good to go. Also, one of the other things that I want to point out is the refrigerator. This refrigerator has no freezer in it. One of the items that you definitely want in your refrigerator in your RV is a thermometer. That will help you tell you uh, if you need to change your settings or not so that you don't freeze your food. Up here on this little shelf, we keep extra toilet paper up here we have our plastic and styrofoam cups we have a few electronics my glasses because I'm blind if I don't have them on and some lighter lighter sticks over here we keep our plastic plates our paper plates our paper bowls and then over here is my secret stash of pop secret popcorn and Swiss Miss chocolate hot chocolate we also have some 13 gallon trash bags and some storage bags that we keep up here. One of the things that we do when we travel, like the bathroom, is we also put our dish soaps in the sink. If the soap opens up in the sink, no big deal. It'll go down the drain and you don't have to spend a lot of time cleaning it up off of counters or floors or anything else. The next thing that we have is we have the under sink storage. There's not a lot of room in here, but we do utilize it, I think, pretty good. We have found over the years that as far as cookware, you only need a couple pieces. So we keep our skillets and our pan, saucepan, it's a two quart under here. We also have a strainer and a small cutting board back in the back we have 
I don't know if we can get it or not. We have an extra roll of paper towels. And we have some plastic storage containers. And we really like these totes. We bought these at Walmart. And we use several of them in our camper. This first tote, which pulls out, this is our bathroom tote. This basically has aspirins, antacid tablets, hairbrush, toothpicks, um, insect spray, just all kinds of stuff that we would need for use in the bathroom. We can take the tote out and we can put it on the counter, use it when we're done, we can put it back under the sink. The next tote is my seasoning tote. And this is the tote that I keep all my spices and everything that I use. The instant coffee, uh, tea bags in the summertime, and stuff like that in this tote. Underneath, we store our cleaning supplies, our Lysol wipes, and we also have a battery powered LED lantern that we store there. This box is our kitchen box and it basically is all of our cookware and everything in it. There's also clips in there to hold the picnic table cover on in one storm. We do this so that if we are going to be out at the picnic table cooking and eating we take this whole tote out and we have everything that we need. That tote there is empty. We haven't figured out anything to put in it yet. And that is the under sink storage. This overhead storage compartment right now just has some paperwork in it. Um, we sometimes keep jackets, um, some clothes, maybe towels up here when we are underway. So we also have storage under one of our bench seats for our dinette. Some of the stuff that we keep in here is we have a battery powered fan that is rechargeable. And under that we keep our little electric heater for when it gets cool out. We have a plastic dish pan that we always carry with us. We have our solar charge regulator in there. We have extra toilet paper. We have an oven mitt that we keep in there. We have another plastic tote that we keep and this is our we don't need it all the time stuff. We keep like Tide Pods in there for doing laundry, couple extra rain ponchos. Oh, there's some shaving cream in there and there's just, just all kinds of different stuff that we use, but we don't use that much. So we put it under the bench. The other thing that I keep under here is I keep my solar panels under the bench these are 60 watt they're three panels they fold up in a real nice package and i can store them under my bench we also have some tablecloths that we keep under here and then of course the under outside storage is right there at the back the stuff that we keep in the outside storage if you watch my video on stuff for beginning RV owners to buy. Most of that stuff is stored in there, plus a couple of lawn chairs and a broom and a dustpan. Okay, so that's kind of what we do. Um, we spent a year, and this is something that you can do. We spent a year and we made a list of everything that was in the camper. Every time we went camping and we used something, we put a mark beside of it. At the end of the year, we took the list and we looked at it, and we found out that about three quarters of the stuff that was on the list, we never used it. So, the theory was, why are we hauling it around when we don't use it? 
that's how we have been able to minimize the stuff that we take when we camp. Now, this in no means is everything that we take, but this is basically how we pack the camper. We do use um, foldable bags. I think they're 31 bags is what we use. Um, tote bags, and we pack our clothes in that, which those are nice because we can, we can move them around and put them wherever we need them. Um, one thing is when we travel, the kitchen table is down. When the kitchen table is down, we have a lot of storage under the table. We can put our uh, packs of drinking water, maybe our extra packs of uh, soft drinks or whatever. We put our Alpi cool cooler under there, and we can also put clothes under there to haul them also. When you're in a small camper, you have to learn to figure out things to take that have dual purpose. Um, you might you might kitchen knives. We take one knife with us. We use it for pretty much everything in the kitchen. Um, one knife versus maybe six knives. We do have we do have some couple steak knives that we take. Uh, we do use silver silverware. We use plastic silverware. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, plastic totes are your friends. And think, think ahead of how you're going to do things. Um, and that will help you figure out how to pack and where to put stuff for your upcoming trips. Thanks for watching. There's a bell down there. If you click on that bell, every time that I put up a video, it will let you know. Um, we do have a lot of trips coming up in the near future. Uh, we're just kind of waiting on the Ohio weather to decide if it wants to be winter, or summer, or fall, or what it wants to do right now. Every day it's something different. Um, but please, subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.